One of the best things you can do for your lawn is to put down lime, but this is also surprisingly misunderstood and most people have no idea what it is, what are the benefits of applying it, and do they even need it on their own lawn? Now of course this is actually a lime, but this fruit is not what goes on your lawn. Lime comes from limestone, it's a type of mineral, they grind it up, and you apply it to your lawn to do one specific thing, and that's to help adjust the pH of your soil. The pH of a lawn is critically important. If it's out of whack, your lawn won't be the right color, and it can't even take up things like fertilizer as well as it can if it's balanced. Another sign of a soil with low pH is seeing a lot of moss. Now around the edges of my yard, I've got a ton of pine trees, and these really make the soil acidic, which means a lower pH. But how do you figure out what the pH of your soil is, and should you just apply lime without doing any type of a test? Well, the short answer is yes. If you live in the Northeast, you're bound to have a ton of pine trees, and we have a lot of low pH soil, and that will affect your lawn. Most professionals in this region are gonna just add lime once a year. They're not gonna do a soil test, and you're very rarely gonna have any issues in fact, you're gonna have a lot of benefits, but if you wanna make sure that your soil needs it, you can go ahead and do a simple soil test and you can see what the results are in your lawn. But when I did a test a year ago, pH was 5.33. And for me, that wasn't a surprise. All the lawns up here are gonna have a lower pH and they're gonna need regular applications of lime. And remember that lime is a natural product. The one I'm gonna use in this video is even labeled organic. And once you put it down, it's not harmful to people or pets. There are two types of lime you can get at the store or order online. The first is called pulverized. This is not what you wanna get for a lawn. This is essentially a bag of powder, and when you put this in a spreader, it is gonna explode like a dust cloud, and it is absolutely miserable to work with. The only kind of lime you want to put on your lawn is called pelletized lime. Now there are different companies that make this product. This one is called Neutralime OP and it's made by the Andersons. The difference with their products are the pellets. They dissolve really easily, they don't create a lot of dust, and this product is actually less expensive than others on the market. But now you need to figure out how much lime to put down. Well here's a couple of ways to do it. If you live in the Northeast, you're going to want to go ahead and apply lime of what they recommend on the bag. The single bag says it's good for up to 5,000 square feet. But if you're living outside of the Northeast or you just wanna be sure, go ahead and get a soil test and watch my other video. As I'm opening these bags, you can definitely see some dust, but this is absolutely nothing compared to pulverized lime. These little pellets keep most of the dust away and it's a lot easier to work with. Now be sure to read the label on the bag, but in terms of safety, I'm not really wearing much protection at all here, but you can certainly wear gloves, a mask, and eye protection if that makes you more comfortable. But what is this lime actually doing for your lawn? Well, this Neutralime product also contains calcium and magnesium, and those are some beneficial elements that'll help your grass in addition to raising the pH. Many experts believe that pH is the most important value in your soil, because if that pH is low, weird things happen. Your lawn cannot absorb correct amounts of fertilizer and other other nutrients even though they're sitting right in the soil so you can have a lawn that you're putting down all kinds of products but it just doesn't look right and it's not growing the best way it can this really is one of the best kept secrets in lawn care it's not the lime alone it's adjusting pH correctly makes such a huge difference you can technically apply lime any time of year to your lawn, but the best times are often gonna be the spring and the fall, and it's mainly because of rainfall. When you first put these pellets down, they can't really do anything. They've gotta get washed into the soil, break down a bit, and then they can begin adjusting the pH. If you don't care about waiting for the rain, you can also turn your sprinklers on and water this stuff in a little bit quicker. The other benefit of adding lime to a lawn is it's often gonna get rid of your moss problem. Here I get moss around the border of my yard, and that's because the pine trees are really heavily concentrated there. But if you've got low pH, moss is often an indicator of it. Now the lime is not gonna directly kill it, but you're gonna correct the problem that's actually allowing the moss to thrive. Adding lime is also good for other parts of your yard. Your beds, even things like vegetable gardens could all benefit from having proper pH in your soil. But make sure when you're done putting this lime down that you clean up a little bit. The pellets aren't gonna cause you any trouble, but you wanna make sure that they're going where you applied them. So grab your blower, get them off your drive or your patio, and get them onto the lawn where they can do their job. Making sure your pH of your soil is correctly adjusted is the most important thing you can do if you want your lawn to look its best. If you've never added lime and you live in the Northeast, it's definitely something you wanna consider. And then you can get your pH to a good spot, and that's gonna ensure that your lawn is looking its best all season long. Hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.